All right. Hey, everybody. Um, today we're going to be playing System Shock. Uh, that's what you guys voted for. This is the alpha demo of the remake. Um, don't know much about this game. Uh, I know that uh, you guys were <laughs> excited to play it. Uh, I never never played the original, so I, I have really no clue. Um, might be. I think it might be kind of a horror-ish game. You guys seem to like to pick out horror games. Um, but yeah. So I guess let's just get into it and uh, see how it goes and just talk game design as we go. All right, so I'm going to turn the uh, audio up a little bit on it because I'm not catching anything yet. There it goes. Let's see if we can. Let me know if the audio needs to get adjusted. Oh, I'm a hacker. I'm a hacker caught attempting to access protected files. Concerning Citadel Station, a space station owned by the Trioptimum Corporation. Edward Diego. Uh, the, the flashing is kind of bad. I don't like that. Trioptimum executive officers offers to drop all charges against you in exchange for hacking and removing the ethical constraints of Shodan, the artificial intelligence that controls the station. Oh, that's good news. He also promises you a valuable military grade neural implant. Your implant surgery has been successful, and you've been put in a six-month healing coma. Ah, oh, nothing like a, a good old healing coma to make you feel better. Hmm. Loading. <laughs> loading, loading, loading. Trioptimum operating system. Cutscene. Oh, there we go. All right. That's good effects. I like that. And for a horror game, right? This is the appropriate uh, lighting and and stuff. Unlike the last game we played, which made some odd choices. Lifeless Planet, right? Made some odd choices. All right. Can I do anything? Okay. Let's find out what the controls are. Um, okay. <laughs> no. Interact is right mouse button, huh? Okay. Left. Sure, why not? It's a status screen. You're free to leave. They're trying to tell me you're done. Get out of here. <laughs> Hang on. Ah, look at that. I want these. I want these. No. No, they say. Oh, hey. Oh. Nope. Nope. Come on. I want it. Door won't budge. Sure, why not? Close that. It's kind of weirdly pixelated, right? Is that just me? It's very odd. I suppose they're they're probably uh, emulating the old game, but it's a, it's a weird mix, right? Because <laughs> highly pixelated, and then like my arm that comes out there, that's not that's not at all pixelated. So that's a weird. Email incoming. Employee 2 4601, listen carefully. My name is Rebecca Lansing, and I'm a counter terrorism consultant to Trioptimum. We're tracking a disruption on 
Citadel Station, something involving an onboard AI called Showdown. You are Triops' only contact on station. Communications are out, and there is evidence of biological contamination. The mining laser is charging for a possible strike against Earth. There's a man named Nathan Darcy who may know something about taking the laser offline. His office is near the central hub on your level. The AI is on the bridge. Once the laser is out, look for the source of the problem there. And by the way, we know all about you and your friend Diego. Pull this off, and we'll clear your record. That implant you're wearing is military-grade hardware. Use it well. Lancing out. Okay. Oh, yeah, cool. Got a weapon. Uh, okay. No, don't use it. No! Uh, that's dumb. <laughs> that was frustrating. Okay, I just get in random things that I don't know what they are and how to use them. <laughs> okay. Super healthy now. Okay, I don't like that that they show you that there's pickups, but you can't pick them up, right? This this looks like exactly like the stamina up thing, but you can't pick it up. It's weird. All right, so far the uh, aesthetics are really good. Right, the lighting's good. It's setting the mood appropriately. Uh oh. Hey, hey. Take that, robot. Oh, what's happening here? What? Uh, okay. This brings up my inventory now? Why would that bring up my inventory? Well, that guy's dead. Oh, I see. It's a loot. Okay. Alright, so he has... What is that? He's got a battery pack. That'll come in useful. Sounds like more robots. Oh, I'm being watched. Hmm. Alright, well, let's... Come here, robot. What's he got? A soda. That makes sense. Because robots walk around with soda all the time. Right? Isn't that how that works? Can I? No, can't do anything there. What's this? Standard round box. I'm assuming I'm going to get ammo. That was ammo. Come on. Let me take the stuff. I want it. Inventory, right? You always gotta. Oops. Ah, nothing. Is this back the way we came? Yes. Maybe it used to be a vending machine, right? <laughs> oh, you actually have to enter a code? Oh. 
Wow, a puzzle already. Okay. I have not paid attention to anything about puzzles yet, so... I didn't see anything in here about puzzles. Did I go up top? I did not go up top. So... Ooh, what's that? What is it? Ooh, a grenade. Yeah. Oh, okay, that was... Okay. So what did I just do? No, I've already been down here. Oh, oh, I didn't... I never saw this down here. I pressed F. Hold F. Shutdown security is closing down on us. The elevators are frozen. Myra keeps saying that it's the cameras and the medical CPU core that Shodan's using these to hold onto the level. That's all fine, but I don't really see how it helps. The thing is everywhere. Hmm. And here I was. Oh, look, there's the code. I see. What's on the what's on this corpse? Nothing. Ah! That was trouble. That's gross. Good jump scare. What's he got? A soda? A soda! <laughs> That's funny. Welcome back to Citadel Station. Uh oh. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the sixth day of November. Year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites located on the first level. <laughs> level 2 contains the research laboratories. 3 houses the Department of Maintenance. And the storage cells are on level 4. The flight deck is on level 5. Level 6 holds crew facilities and executive suites. And level 7 is systems engineering. Level 8 houses the Department of Security. The bridge is located on level 9, and energy systems on level R. All levels can be accessed by the elevator in, in, in Alpha Quadrant. We hope you have a pleasant stay on Citadel Station. <laughs> oh, the gun. Oh, yeah. More soda? Man, these people like soda. Good, creepy aesthetics. I like that. Uh, nothing. Okay. Wait. Yeah, route, right mouse. Right. I'm pressing. What? Oh, because it's around the side. Oh, look, a routing mini game. See how does this work? Oh no, not that. Hmm. But nothing's lighting up, so Turn that one. Oh, only got one other shop. That's not good. I wasted one. Let's switch back over there. Okay. Oh, I already got that of him. So 
So I'm assuming that's what I need to get on. But uh, let's see other stuff. There's an access card. I don't have an access card. Is that a monster? No, just a guy. Hello? <laughs> Is it an AI? Is that what's supposed to be happening here? Sure is creepy looking. It's just a flavor room? Just creep me out? Is that it? Oh, more soda. Gotta get them sodas. Oh, what was that? Gunther was killed today. I can't let myself think about it. I think I understand how Shodan is doing it. When we destroy the cameras and CPU nodes, Shodan loses some of its control over the station functions, at least on this level. I think I can restore manual control in the hospital. Hmm. I don't know if I'm supposed to attack that thing. I don't think I am. I think I'm supposed to get up there somehow, but it's probably for later. Gee, am I supposed to go to the bright flashing thing? Assuming that things are gonna attack me. Hey. Oh yeah. More soda. Stay away. Good and creepy. That's good. No, not functional. Gotta say, that prompt could be better than that top. You guys see it there? The tiny little prompt that's up at the top of the screen? <laughs> I feel like that could be better. Ugh. This place is a dang maze. Ugh. Hey, right, hey! What just hit me? It's the Borg. What? Oh, he's got the gun down there. Can I... Oh. Because he fell on the gun, I can't loot the gun? Is that what's happening right now? Uh... That is unfortunate. And it was a setup. It was a trap. Did you see that? Oh, somebody's shooting at me. Oh, boy. <laughs> I like the ragdoll arms there. That's pretty funny. Oh, hey. Oh, hello. Ah. What? Oh, I didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, reboot me. Tell me if the stream 
kind of gets weird. Uh, OBS is telling me that there's an encoding overload. I've never seen that before. Uh, so let me know if the stream is not doing okay. Oh, I have to start all over? Ah. Uh, that is unfortunate. And I, that makes me want to put it down right away. And all this stuff again. This stuff again. I thought there was some, yeah, there's something to grab over here. Oh, gotta go up there. It's unclear what that did. There was something over here, but uh, I guess not. Yep, take his log, take his soda. <laughs> what did the sodas do? <laughs> oh, wait, where's my inventory? Nothing. They do nothing. <laughs> it's very odd. Oh, whoops. Ah, uh, no soda this time. Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the sixth day of November, year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites located on the first level. Level two contains the research laboratories. Three houses the Department of Maintenance. Oh, and weird, it's different. Cells are on level four. Interesting. The flight deck is on level five. Level six holds crew facilities and executive suites and level 7 is systems engineering. Level 8 houses the Department okay. of Security. The bridge is located on level 9 and energy systems on level R. All levels can be accessed by the elevator in, in, in Alpha Quadrant. We hope you have a pleasant stay on Citadel Station. <laughs>
interesting. So those puzzles are procedural. All right, let's just do this since we were supposed to do this last time. Oh, that's unfortunate for that guy. What does he got? A stimulant. Oh wait, no. <laughs> all right. Oh, that's always good. doesn't do very much. Hmm. So this takes standard 9mm rounds and I have 12 of them. Right? Is there a way to reload that thing? Maybe I have to use up the the two that I have. That must be it. All right. that what <laughs> oh human skull that's all <laughs> cool <laughs> are they like collectibles No, not that. Oh, yeah, that's nice while the animation like <laughs> kills me there. <laughs> yeah, so that wasn't very good. And this, and I have ammo, but do I have to like drag the ammo onto the gun? <laughs> nope. So. How does that work? This is very strange. Hmm. Lead pipe it is. Oh, I have to do this. All right, well. Oh. Well, that's good. Uh oh. Does this guy have a med pack? Oh. Darn it, that was super convenient. Boy, well, it's pretty gory in here. The music intensified like that's really good very well done <laughs> help me <laughs> hmm 
More soda. Gotta have them sodas. Oh, that guy doesn't have his head. That's pretty sad. These people didn't really have a chance here, did they? And none of them have any health packs. So sad. Oh, I see a briefcase, so that's good. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, it's access card. Oh, soda. <laughs> Gotta love them sodas. Uh, this is a strange negative exploration space, right? Corridors like that. Is this the guy she was talking about? There's the gun with the zero ammo. I have ammo. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I can't load. Oh, whoops. Ah! Oh, I'm in such trouble. Wow. Dude, give me that rifle. There we go. Oh, I can't use it? Ah, oh, that's messed up. <laughs> that's nice of them to give me some med packs uh oh I see you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hey. All right. Oh. More mini games. Oh, no. This is very strange. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that right? Is that wrong? I can't. It's, give me no feedback. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand this. Uh, he's saving under the software tab in inventory. Let's check that. No. Nope. So under here. Assume the demo they don't want you to to be saving. I must not have done that right. It'd be nice if they gave you some kind of hint as to what's supposed to go on here. Maybe it's that these are like need to go in different places. Needs to get green. I have purple. Yeah. Let's see. I had it like that. No, that's right. Right, because that... So these two colors go to... So this has to get to green, which means it has to be the same two colors. That is the same two colors, but it comes out purple. There's no switching, there's no moving here. There's only three of these. So if I move either one of these, I mean, I guess, no, because I had that way, that way before. All right. I did. OK. 
Okay. Oh, that should work because you be blue, blue, green. No. Well, then I don't understand that. <laughs> Huh. I mean, there's only so many combinations here, right? There's only three inputs. I tried the straight ones. I tried red into that one and that one. I think I tried... Okay. Did I try red to the middle? I don't think I did. So that would mean yellow should technically have to go there, and that should output green there. Nope. See, why does yellow and blue make green, maybe? What's supposed to be happening here? There we go. Aha! That's a cool shader. That's a nice shader, I like that. What do I get for my troubles? Oh, ammo I can't use! That's excellent. Get out my mini pistol, but I can't use it. <laughs> Dumb. I wonder if that's on purpose because of the demo or or what. Seems kind of odd. Uh, let's just get out the room I was already in. Oh, hello. Nothing. Uh, this is this where I came from? I don't think so. I don't remember seeing that guy. Okay. What'd that do? Switch something. Oh, hi. Was that, was that a switch? No. Okay, we came over here. And then we went that way, so we must need to go this way. Assuming maybe there's a switch that I didn't do, or... Oh, yeah, I probably just turned on that door, right? Ha-ha! Nobody. Oh. I must be one of the last ones who hasn't changed. Shodan must have altered the healing machine I installed in Alpha Quadrant. It does things to people now. Ooh, I, uh, I think I saw Beth yesterday, but she had so many implants, I c couldn't be sure. If if I can get to the machine, uh, I know I can set things right again. What? I don't think I've been down there. Alright. 
So this is just a bonus. Flavor story. Flavor text. So this whole thing up here, this entire whole thing up here was just some, for some flavor? Uh, okay. Apparently I need to be down there with all the... Zomboids. Dudes, that's, is that, that is not where I came from. Wait a minute. Ah, oh no! <laughs> I got... I guess I could throw a grenade over there. I'm gonna have to. Because I got... No! Oh, that's... <laughs> Alright. Uh, I gotta do the whole thing again. Boo. R to reload. Be nice if they would have told me that. Boo. Boo, I say. All right. Uh, none of us want to sit here and do this over and over and over. All right. Come on. I know, I know. Yeah, you gotta give me the speech. What? Hey! Who's hitting me? There were not two of you. What? Why am I not attacking? Hello? Oh, that was bad. Let's go use the... Uh... There were not two guys there last time. Interesting. Heal me up. Let's go. How convenient that was. Did I miss it? No. It looks like something you should pick up, but you can't. Note to self, don't throw a frag grenade. <laughs> like, don't use a frag grenade assuming that you get to like arm it <laughs> and then throw it it just automatically throws it so that was nice oh hey oh I missed you last time yeah I got that one okay Ha! Poor guy was just sitting there waiting to use the elevator. <laughs> Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the sixth day of November, year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites located on the first level. Level two contains the research laboratories. Three houses the Department of Maintenance, and the storage cells are on level four. The flight deck is on level five. Le le level six holds crew facilities and executive suites, and level seven is systems engineering. Level eight houses the Department of Security. The bridge is located on level nine, and energy systems on level R. All levels.
levels can be accessed by the elevator in 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 Alpha Quadrant. We hope you have a pleasant stay on the no, dang it. station. Well, that was dang it. All right. Last time I didn't. I don't think I went down there, right? It's a good shader, though. I like that. Wears off a little fast. Well, I think last time there was a there was a guy. Oh, there he is. Time. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, come on, let me use the <laughs> hand dryers. <laughs> that's funny that they would have the toilet here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, uh, ha! Oh, now it tells me. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, that's cool. What is that? Recon without Alan. He says they took Alan into a room marked Cyborg Conversion, and now he's a cyborg assassin. Cyborg Carl assassin. The word here before he ran. One of the technicians says we can just flip a switch and make the converter a surgery unit again. With only twelve of us left, though, it may be an academic point. Maybe someone else should have been leader. I don't know. Do you guys like the the audio? Um, it's kind of a trope, right? Kind of overused in a lot of cases, but I don't know. It's a, I mean, it works. Definitely works in this case. Oh, what's that? I want that. It's a thermos. Can I go up. Yes. Ah, empty crates, come on. Also, come on. Let me smash the crates. One of the most annoying aspects of the demo is probably the lack of an actual save. You can find a medical bay that can respawn you towards the end of the demo until then death means you have to start all over. Yeah. That's kind of what I figured. Which is why they want you to buy the game. Right? So that makes... I mean, it makes sense from that standpoint. But it's annoying, all the same. Okay, I think I came this way the other time. I feel like I did. Right? Because this would lead... Ah! Whoa. Well, now I should just get out the... Ouch. Oh. Not good. I like the feedback they give you, though. It's good feedback on uh, almost dying. Right. I am totally hosed right now. Is it... Oh, is it because I'm in... Radioactive. Yeah. 
Oh, they were trying to tell me biological contamination. So that was not good. God, what did I open? Okay. Ah, what? Where? Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right, it's been about an hour. Um, so I think that's good enough. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, audio was nice. I, there's a lot of stuff. Um, Pre-release? Um, well, I know that there's. it's a Kickstarter. Um, the sodas were not healing me. Um, yeah. No, it's good. I, I think uh, they did a really good job um, with it. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't remember the original. Um, so that's interesting that they keep these sort of the... They're trying to keep the pixelized aspect of it. I'm assuming that 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 some of these like the textures and stuff um, are intent. Like, because if you look at the, I mean, like, look at the uh, the VFX there on the fog and stuff. It looks good. And then uh, you look at some of the some of the textures and they're intentionally uh, pixelated, right? So that's just an interesting take. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, they did a really good job atmospherically. Uh, these guys are definitely pros. They do know what they're doing. Um, you know, it, fe it feels like a horror game. They've got all the, all the right atmospherics, uh, to make you nervous. They also, right, um, played more of a System Shock 3. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's... It's good. No, I think they did a really good job. Um, there's not a lot of critiques to, to be had. You know, I, I know why they do the limited ammo and stuff, right? That's part of horror games and making you feel um, nervous and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know. It's, it's, it's good. They did a really good job. Um, I, I wish you guys would play more of the games. But I, I think maybe the schedule's too aggressive. So, I'm kind of thinking maybe we should move to like a two-week system where we vote and then we take a week where we can all play um and i know some of you guys are in some of the other summer classes right now so it's probably not helping um in that you're all busy um so maybe maybe we move to a, a two-week system i'll uh, maybe i'll do a vote on that um system shock two right um bad job on not signaling key bindings well i mean it's the demo um so it's it's hard to fault them for that you know demos are <clears throat> demos are definitely there's a there's a <laughs> right now in the indie community there's kind of a i don't know how to describe their demos are definitely more of a thing especially with steam featuring you know they had that big summer festival and and uh, games that were had demos were encouraged to put their demos out right so that means indies would want to do that because you want to get your uh, get your game in front of a, a very large audience like that. Um, so it's definitely becoming a thing again. Um, you know, like the demo should be making a comeback. But there's definitely an art to making a demo, right? You don't want to give away the whole game. But at the same time, you don't want to do what they did here and, like, have the whole game but then, like, disable the save. That's really odd. Um, I think, you know, more what... The sweet spot for a demo is you want to give players about... You know, between 15 and 30 minutes of gameplay, uh, and then when you stop them at an appropriate time, um, you stop their progress and you say, "Look, I want you to either wishlist the game or buy the game or whatever it is." Um, so that's kind of a lost art. Um, you know, a lot of um, older developers uh, in the days of the Flash games had to do that. So a lot of what you're going to see is a lot of um, indies trying to look back at at the appropriate way to set up a demo and, and how to transition demo users to, to full users. Um, so I, I predict that that's going to become a thing um, in the next couple of years, especially on Steam, unless something changes, unless they change the market again, um, which they are prone to do. Yeah, so that was System Shock. Um, pretty dang good game. Uh, i got to say, I really like the demo. I don't normally... not a huge fan of horror games. Uh, they don't really tend to... to to do it for me but uh, this was a good one they did a really good job
yeah. Uh, so I think we're going to wrap it up. And like I said, I'll set up a thing so we can have a quick vote about maybe changing the, the pace of the, the streams that we do um, so that everybody gets a chance, more of a, a chance to actually play the game so that when we come online here, you guys can, we can talk about it more um, rather than just me playing it and kind of voicing my thoughts. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. So, uh, yeah, so we'll talk about that. Oh, yes, uh, sorry about that, uh, Stephen. I, I will put the YouTube links. I just, I forgot uh, to, to upload them. I did see that you did that. I just have been so busy working on uh, kaiju fishing uh, that I've been distracted. Uh, so I will remember to try and try to remember to do that today. All right, cool. Uh, so I will see you guys on the Discord, and uh, yeah. So we'll have a quick talk about maybe switching up, maybe not. I don't know if you guys like the uh, the one week turnarounds. That's fine by me. I can still keep doing it. It's just um, it's just less of a time for us all to get together to play uh, ahead of time. All right. So I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up, and I will see you guys um, over on the Discord channel. All right. Later, guys.